All right, guys, welcome to another video for the Poco F3, also known as B11X in India. Now it's time for us to get our hands on Pixel Experience, which is based on Android 13. Although this is unofficial, not official like the Poco X3 Pro, but someone is working hard to get this out to us, so might as well give it a try. This was updated on the 17th of September. This is an install and preview video, so we'll quickly be installing it and then maybe after a day or two, if it is daily, you know, daily usage worthy, I'll probably give it a review as well. But before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Now let's see what we have here. We have Pixel Experience unofficial Android 13 and updated on the 17th of September 2022. Now if we talk about the changelog, more themed icons, fixes, dev options thing, hidden sensitive info on about phone page, maintainer things in about phone. So maybe he's a new developer because not much is mentioned here. Anyways, clean flash only coming from other ROM if updating dirty flash is allowed but clear cache. If TWRP fails, try from PE recovery recommended firmware is this. Which is that firmware? Okay, we do have that in the phone's internal memory. EROFS ROM, this is a new sort of file system that we are talking about. And credits. All right, now, right now we are on MIUI 13.0.8. Now the usual drill over here, you need to have a device which is unlocked on the bootloader's end and you need to have a TWRP recovery installed. All right, you need to make sure your phone has more than 50% battery. Make sure all your data is backed up. You have been warned. Remove all the lock screen, password, pin, pattern, face unlock, everything. Remove your MI account, okay? Remove your Google account and reboot the device once. Once you've taken care of all of these things, you need to ensure that you have two files. In this case, you need to have the firmware which is recommended by the developer. I'm using the latest firmware here and Pixel Experience Elliot 13.0 Beta. We will just uh, go ahead and cross verify the firmware over here. 13.0.6, there you go. European firmware is recommended. I think you can try Indian firmware on the Mi 11X, but I'm not really sure. Anyways, we've taken care of everything. So we're gonna put it to TWRP and this is not a custom ROM. So we're gonna have to press and hold volume up in power and uh, yeah, keep it pressed till the time you see the Poco or the Mi logo. So we'll wait for it to reboot. Okay, there it goes. There you have it. All right, now, as you can see, we booted into TWRP. Let's check the files first. Both the files are present. So we'll go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik data. That's all that we're gonna wipe. We won't wipe internal storage because that's where our files are. Okay, now let's go to install. First, select the firmware, add more zips and select the ROM. Okay, you can select automatically reflash TWRP and swipe to confirm flash. Now, this flash will take anywhere between 45 seconds to say 90 seconds, not more than that, because I've not known any custom ROM to take a very long time while flashing ROMs or anything of that sort. So let's patiently wait and see what happens. All right, now, as you can see, everything has been flashed just fine. You can ignore these errors that you see at the end, right? Everything has gone as planned. So now let's go to the home screen. Let's go to wipe and format data. Now type in yes over here. Okay, now the boot system. Now the first boot should take about 30 to 45 seconds. So please be patient while that happens. I will also go ahead and link the recovery that I used in this video in the description of this video so that you can try using the same recovery. But uh, any latest recovery which works fine on the Mi 11X for Android 12 ROMs should be fine with this ROM as well. As you can see, Pixel Experience is booting up just fine for us. So let's wait for the boot to complete and we will skip the setup part and then we'll have a look how exactly it looks and feel on the Mi 11X. All right, that was quick. The phone is booted up real quick. So not only Android 13 is much more smoother, it appears to be much more faster when it comes to boot. So let's actually skip the setup part here. Everything is dark because I believe the dark theme is enabled by default. We'll have to probably connect to Wi-Fi over here. Otherwise, it will not allow us to proceed. All right, just like that, we are on the home screen of Android 13 and just look at this. This is Pixel Experience. It comes with minimal applications. So that's one, two, three, four, 16 apps, including a very, very basic camera application here. 
If you go to settings, say you go to about, you go to Android version 13, you will have this beautiful Android 13 Easter egg. If you take it to 1 p.m. and long press it, you will get very, very amazing things to see, which is really, really neat. But yes, this pixel experience that we are talking about, it comes with no kernel September security patch and uh, pixel experience being pixel experience, it doesn't really have a lot of customization. So let's actually go to display here and let's see what refresh rate. We are at 60, I thought so. so let's switch to 120 and bam, it is butter smooth, works absolutely fine. Even if we go to the Play Store and say we go to settings, the device is certified. So I don't think you should have any major issues unless there are some bugs which I have not seen. And I will, of course, go ahead and try to make a review on this. Let me know in the comment section and like this video if you want me to make a review. For now, this is a quick step-by-step -step install guide to install Android 13 based Pixel Experience 13 for the Mi 11X. See you in the next one. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.